meditasi and uh, have done and completed my degree of MD in internal medicine from America in the year 2019 and I have been practicing since then it's been almost three years and I especially consult uh, for uh, patients belonging to the general uh, physician categories as well as skin disorder Allergy basically is the response uh, of your body's immune system to certain uh, new substance, substances to the body which it uh, views as a harmful invader. Mainly the causes of allergies are uh, many uh, like pet dangers or molds or dust or maybe insect bites or pollen grains or certain food. Um, and even uh, like it might be genetic or might be environmental as well. Who are most likely at the risk of getting allergies um, are children, of course, uh, and uh, people who uh, generally prefer eating outside like uh, fast foods and uh, People who are more exposed to certain environments like agriculture uh, or um, maybe daily uh, wages labels. Allergies are uh, mostly sign of a weak immune system and uh, when any foreign substance aapki body recognize that it produces antibodies antibodies like IgE, IgG or IgM which damages the cell, cells of your body and then it creates a certain reaction jo aapko as skin hives or red itchy eyes or uh, maybe runny nose or woozing or sneezing is tarike se aapko dikhegi Allergies uh, could be genetic as well as environmental also. Uh, genetic as in if your any of your parents uh, uh, would be having like allergies like asthma or certain allergies even like uh, contact dermatitis uh, you could inherit it from them or environmentals as in you could acquire allergies uh, from pollen grains from food that you eat uh, especially fast food or uh, chemically induced food like almost everything in the market are chemically induced and uh, there's nothing or no nearly natural food that's available so you could also acquire allergies from environment as well allergy uh, generally affects your lungs your nasal passage uh, your digestive system uh, might be your stomach and uh, your throat uh, and of course the uh, buccal cavity as well and even it could sometimes uh, affect your skin as in the case of contact dermatitis. We all know uh, it's been said that treatment lies in your kitchen. So the gharelu nuski hotel jaysi shahat ya ginger ko mix karke mousse ko pee lena yeah, maybe a joint tea for that matter, or garam pani, or gunguna pani, steam lena. When a patient comes uh, complaining about allergies, first we take their uh, complete history of the disease. Ki skin pe kaise high hai, kaise itch hai, ya fir kaisa suffocation ho raha hai. Kaisi eyes hai, kaisi conject, uh, there may, uh, might be conjunctivities or maybe asthma or maybe dermatitis or uh, could be uh, uh, sneezing that is rhinitis we call or sinusitis and uh, that's how uh, we uh, move further with the investigation and diagnosis. If you are getting recurring allergies, then uh, you should go and perform some uh, tests uh, which are meant for uh, to detect allergies.
test like skin prick test, uh, skin patch test or intradermal test or there are some blood tests as well. Labs offers uh, facilities like they'll get you tested for allergies and the half cost of MRPs which is available in the market. Uh, their uh, facilities uh, are a timely delivery of the reports and uh, we uh, nobody could uh, raise anything against their reports if their reports are uh, fine and could be considered. Petlab is uh, considered to be number uh, one pet labs. Uh, across India and uh, I have been associated with them. It's been two years I've been associated. Uh, book my appointment uh, uh, through walk-in at the reception or on-call or at, uh, login into the website as well.